Hello folks and welcome back to the channel. Now as you can see I have another video here for y'all today it's actually done by a request of one of my viewers who wanted to see a video done the Oregon Pacific and Eastern Railways number 19 also known as the Blue Goose. But without further ado, let's get to it. The number 19 was built in 1915 by the Baldwin Locomotive Works for the Cotta and Choctaw Railroad and later on be sold to the Choctaw River Logging Company. In 1920, the locomotive was sold to the United States Smelting, Refining, and Mining Company, and then after that, it be sold down to a railroad down in Mexico uh, that actually carried silver. Now, because Mexico is not a coal-rich region, they convert the locomotive to burnt oil, and that's actually how it's set up now. They also renumbered the locomotive down in Mexico to be their number 105 instead of the number 4. After four years in Mexico, the locomotive was sold to the McLeod River Railroad in Northern California. They renumbered it to be the number 19 to match our other 90-ton logging Mikado from Baldwin, the number 18. Also, allegedly, the crew from the McLeod River Railroad uh, patched up bullet holes inside the cab because the locomotive was possibly involved in the Mexican Revolutionary War. Anyway, in 1958, the Wairica and Western Railroad purchased the number 19. And in 1963, they decided to retire the number 19. However, later on, they decided to look into potential steam excursion services and brought back both numbers 18 and 19 into service. And about that time, the Oregon Pacific and Eastern Railway walked in and leased the number 19 for summertime excursion services. But it was fairly short-lived because in 1988, the railway was abandoned and it would be returned to the Wairika and Western Railway. However, in 1994, the locomotive was brought back to the McLeod River Railroad, and then eventually be brought back to the Wairika and Western Railway again, and ran there until 2008. And that would be actually the last time it operated on the Wairika and Western. In 1999, the Rocky Mountain Mining Railway purchased the Wairika and Western. However, the Rocky Mountain Mining Company was refusing to pay off any of their debts on the Wairika and Western, and they caused the county sheriff's office to come and confiscate the number 19, which is actually kind of how it became preserved. The county sheriff's office held on to the locomotive until 2016, when they finally sold an auction for $400,000, and it was sold to the Age of Steam Roundhouse in Sugar Creek, Ohio. And as of 2022, they are currently restoring the locomotive to operational condition. Now, why was the locomotive nicknamed the Blue Goose? Well, it actually comes from an excursion service that both the Wairika and Western held, and the Oregon Pacific and Eastern. They both ran a excursion train called the Blue Goose, that famously the number 19 would carry. While a man named Willis Kyle owned pretty major shares of the McLeod River Railroad, the Oregon Pacific and Eastern, and the Wairika and Western, making them all kind of one railway, which is how the number 19 got jumbled around from railroad to railroad as it was needed. Um, anyway, so both railways want to operate the Blue Goose excursion train, which would specifically be carried by a steam locomotive starting in 1986. So in the summer months, they would send the number 19 down to the Oregon Pacific and Eastern to pull the Oregon Pacific and Eastern's Blue Goose. And when it wasn't working at the OPE, it would be sent to the Wairika and Western to haul the Wairika and Western's Blue Goose. And it would go back and forth between the two railways until the Oregon Pacific and Eastern completely declined when uh, Willis Kyle sold his half of the Oregon Pacific and Eastern. And then it would strictly run on Wairika and Western because when he sold his half of the OPE, he brought back the number 19 to the Wairika and Western. And it would remain there until the Wairika and Western was sold to the Rocky Mountain Mining Company and the number 19 would remain there. And I guess as time would go on, the engine would continue working until the sheriff's office uh, took it, and that's kind of how it ended up in preservation. Uh, really neat story, the engine's got a very long history, but uh, yeah. Anyway folks, that's all for today, but before you all go, I'd like to point out one more thing. The Oregon Pacific and Eastern Railroad owned my favorite shortline steam locomotive, the Megma Arizona number 5 or later on be renumbered by another railway, the number 555, but that's just more history than the locomotive. So I thought that was kind of fun, uh, didn't even know the railway owned one of my favorite engines at one point. They actually used it for logging from my understanding. Uh, kind of fun, thought I'd point that out. 
Anyway, folks, that's all for today. Uh, this video is actually a requested video, so if anyone has any requests that you all would like to see done here on the channel, be sure to leave them down in the comment section down below. And while you're at it, hit that like and subscribe button and share the video. Uh, anyway, folks, thanks for watching and see you on the rails.